Tickling is one of those universal human experiences that brings laughter and joy to people of all ages. But have you ever tried to tickle yourself? It's just not the same, is it? You try to mimic the exact same motions, apply the same amount of pressure, but somehow it just doesn't have the same effect. So, what's stopping you from tickling yourself? I mean, think about it. Your body is capable of experiencing the sensation of tickling when someone else does it. Your nervous system, your brain, and your sensory receptors are all functioning properly. But when you try to tickle yourself, it's like your brain just doesn't register it as tickling. It's a pretty weird phenomenon. One way to approach this question is to think about how our brains process sensory information. When we try to tickle ourselves, our brain is able to predict the sensation of the tickling because it's coming from our own actions. This might seem like a small difference, but it's actually a pretty important one. Our brains are wired to respond to unexpected sensations, and when we tickle ourselves, the sensation isn't unexpected, it's predictable. This predictability is key to understanding why we can't tickle ourselves. Our brain's ability to predict our own actions affects our sensory experience in some really interesting ways. When we're moving around, our brain is constantly predicting the sensations that we'll experience as a result of our movements. This allows us to move around smoothly and efficiently, without having to constantly think about every little sensation. But it also means that when we try to tickle ourselves, our brain is able to predict the sensation. The relationship between self-awareness and sensory perception is really complex, and it's something that scientists are still working to understand. But one thing is clear, our brains are capable of some pretty amazing things, and the fact that we can't tickle ourselves is just one of the many weird and wonderful quirks of human experience. So what do you think? Have you ever tried to tickle yourself? And did you find that it just didn't work? Let me know in the comments. And if you're interested in learning more about the science of laughter and human behavior, be sure to check out my video on the science of laughter.